Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at a really interesting mini PC that I recently put together. And oh yeah, by the way, this is a full-fledged gaming PC. Believe it or not, this mini monster will run any modern AAA game at full speed, and it really comes down to the GPU we're utilizing here. Yeah, this does have a dedicated GPU. It's actually using an AMD Radeon RX 7600 XT with 8GB of GDDR6 VRAM and it's paired up with an 8-core 16-thread Ryzen CPU. So it can definitely put down some really good performance given the form factor, but before we get into all of the testing, I do want to mention that this video is brought to you by URCD Keys. I've actually been using this site for a couple years now. They do offer Steam Keys, Origin, Uplay. They even offer Microsoft applications like Office, but the main reason that I use URCD Keys is for their Windows Keys. Right now, their Windows 10 Pro OEM key is $19.84, but if you use code ETA at checkout, you can get 25% off. And another great thing about buying from here is they do accept PayPal. I just did this build here. I need to activate Windows. I'm going to head over to my updates and security. We're going to go to activation. As you can see, I've got Windows 10 Pro, but it's not activated. So I'm going to change product key. I'm going to paste it in here. Choose next. Choose activate and Windows is now activated. We're ready to go. My warning is totally gone and basically that's it. They'll email your code once your payment is processed and that's basically it. If you're interested in picking up cheap Windows 10 keys for your new PC builds, I'll leave a link in the description. As you can see around back here, we've got two full-size HDMI ports, two full-size display ports, in total, we've got six USB 3 ports, a full-size SD card reader, micro SD card reader, USB 4. I mean, we've got everything we need for I.O. on this mini PC. And to make this, I'm actually using off-the-shelf parts. When it comes to the GPU, I'm using the brand new GPD G1 external graphics dock. This has that RX 7600 XT. Tons of I.O. around back here for a little dock. Built-in power, 60-watt PD charging out of USB 4 up front. And one of the coolest things about this eGPU is it actually supports Oculink and USB 4 or Thunderbolt 4. So we've got a couple protocols here that we can connect to different PCs with. And for the heart of the system, the CPU, RAM, and storage, I'm using the Menace Forum EM680. This is the world's smallest 6800U powered mini PC. It's got LP DDR4X RAM, so it's soldered to the board. We've got a 1TB M.2 drive, and by itself, this is a great mini PC. It supports USB 4, so we can connect this GPU, and it also supports being totally powered over that USB 4 port, so we don't need an extra adapter for the mini PC itself. It's all going to be powered from the GPD G1 DAW. When it comes to the internal specs, for the CPU, we're using that Ryzen 6800U in the EM680, 8 cores, 16 threads, with a boost up to 4.7 GHz. It's got 16 GB of LP DDR4X running at 6400 megatransfers per second. I've got a 1 terabyte M.2 2230 PCIe 4.0 SSD installed. And of course, graphics is going to be handled by the AMD Radeon RX 7600 MXT. 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM. We've got a base clock of 1500 MHz and a boost up to 2615. And the dock itself supports that 60 watt PD out of USB 4. But remember, the GPD G1 dock also supports Oculink. And when you compare that to USB 4 or Thunderbolt 4 with an eGPU, you can get a lot better performance. If you're interested in checking out my initial video on the GPD G1, I'll leave a link in the description. But we're going to be taking a look at how this thing performs because I think it's a really cool little setup. So with this, we're running Windows 11 Pro, and so far, it's been working out really well. Very snappy little system. I mean, we've tested out the 6800U by itself quite a bit on the channel, and, you know, even with the built-in RDNA 2 graphics, it's not a bad little chip, but we're not going to be using those integrated graphics because we've got that RX 7600 XT, and we're not going to be able to get the full performance out of this over USB 4. Bandwidth on USB 4 is 40 gigs, but if we were to connect this using the Oculink port on the G1, we could do up to 63 gigs, and it does offer quite a bit more performance. And over USB 4, this is actually going to be running at PCIe X4 3.0. Over Oculink, it can run at PCIe X4 4.0. So yeah, that bandwidth will be greater with Oculink, but we don't have any extra M.2s in the EM680 mini PC, so we're using USB 4. And this can definitely run any AAA game that's out right now. 
And by the way, the TDP on the EM680 Mini PC is set at 35 watts, so we can get those higher boost clocks out of the 6800U. And the first thing I wanted to take a look at were a couple benchmarks that I ran on this little system. And the first one here is Geekbench 6. We're just testing out the CPU performance to give you an idea here. Single core, 1,718. Multi, 7,381. Remember, we're working with Zen 3, not Zen 4. And, you know, Zen 4 does offer a tremendous uplift, especially in single core. But this isn't bad at all for what we have. Next on the list, we've got 3D Mark Firestrike coming in with an 18,734. And finally, Time Spy with an 8,715. Now, of course, our GPU score is a bit lower than it would be if this was connected in a laptop or even over Oculink, but we're still putting out much better performance than the integrated graphics here. And now it's time to take a look at some real world gaming on this machine. And first up, we've got Forza Horizon 5, 1440p, high settings. I got an average of 86 FPS, and I knew that this game was gonna run really well on this setup. In the past, testing this on different eGPUs using Thunderbolt 3 to USB 4, I did run into a few hiccups now and then, but one thing you gotta keep in mind about this new G1 dock is the protocol here is true USB 4. It's not Thunderbolt 3 going over to USB 4 on another PC, so we get a really clean connection, and it's working out much better than other eGPUs on the market that I've tested over USB 4. And there were a few games that, in my experience, were unplayable, like the new Spider-Man series, be it Miles Morales or Spider-Man Remastered. That's what we have here. 1080p, very high settings, and we do get some dips, but, you know, before, while using a Thunderbolt 3 dock over USB 4, this was unplayable. I mean, it would dip down into the 30s, it would stay there, it would jump up. Even with something like an RTX 4080 eGPU at 1080p, this would be under 60. It was just unplayable. And I know over time the developers have kind of optimized everything, but this performance we're seeing right now using an eGPU is the best I've seen so far. And I really think it has to do with the G1 dock itself using true USB 4 protocol. Moving over to Cyberpunk 2077, we're at 1080p, high settings, I got an average of 73 FPS, and the 7600 XT can definitely do much better than this, but again, we're working with a 40 gig limit here. Either way, still really impressive to see it running this well on a PC this size. When you take everything into account, this is still a really small mini PC, especially when you compare it to a full-size desktop, and as you can see, Cyberpunk 2077 is fully playable here. God of War, 1080p, high settings, 72 FPS, and ever since this launched, you know, I've always tested it on different eGPUs. It's actually performed really well in a lot of stuff that I've tested, especially the NVIDIA eGPUs. So going into this one, I thought it would do just fine. Now, unfortunately, Ultra 1080p here with the setup I have isn't possible. It's right there on the edge. We got an average of 57, but at high settings, we're good to go. Horizon Zero Dawn 1080p Ultra. I actually thought we'd get a little better performance out of this. I just ran the built-in benchmark. I've already tested this with the eGPU, specifically the benchmark here. And on a higher-end mini PC with a Ryzen 7000 CPU, we actually got an average of around 88. So it's not that far off given that we hit an average of 79 with this setup. And I do think that the CPU here is holding us back just a little bit, but you know, not by much, still really playable experience. And the final one I wanted to test here was Diablo 4. 1080p, very high, looking great here, playing just fine. We got an average of 136 FPS. We could take this one up to 1440p if we wanted to, and there's a chance we could do 4K, but we probably have to drop the settings down to high, and AMD really doesn't even recommend the 7600 MXT for 1440p gaming. They market it more as a 1080p ultra card, and even over USB 4 here, this thing performs really well. So overall, yeah, I mean, putting something like this together is possible. It's not going to be for everybody, but if you're looking for a good eGPU, I could definitely recommend the GPD G1. This thing works great over Thunderbolt 4, USB 4, and especially Oculink. I will have an Oculink mini PC video coming up. Uh, we can definitely get much better performance out of it, given that we'll have a higher bandwidth of 63 gigs instead of 40. But I thought this was a pretty cool PC, you know, pairing it up with the world's smallest 6800U mini PC. And Menace Forum does have a 7000 series version of the EM coming up soon. 
Hopefully I can get my hands on it. I think it's going to be known as the EM780. So that'll definitely offer a little better performance. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. I just thought this was a really cool little setup. If you're interested in learning more about the EM680 or the GPD G1 graphics dock, I'll leave some links in the description. And if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments down below. But like always, thanks for watching.